this video explains how to install an S3 in M3 Pro. Since M3 Pro is different from that of the Intel processor or Intel based processors, Intel uses CISC processor and uh, M3 uses RISC processor. That is why most of the most of the softwares which could be installed in Intel processor cannot be installed in M3 processors. Here the question is uh, to how to install NS3, mostly the NS3.34 in uh, Apple M3 processors. For that, let me check, uh, let me show you the processor in my Mac. This is about the Mac and here it is, uh, this is uh, Apple M3 Pro system. M Apple M3 Pro processor is used in my system. It is the recent uh, MacBook. So here I need to, I wanted to install NS3, but installing M, uh, installing NS3 is not a problem. The problem is to have a Linux operating system that is suitable for M3 processor. For that, we have to go to the Kali Linux, kali.org, .org then go to downloads go to the installers installer images then go to apple silicon arm 64 here we will see one installer and let's down click and uh, download this installer for m3 processor if i if i click here then it will start downloading since I have this file already download, downloaded, so that's why I will not continue downloading this. I will cancel this out. And here you can see this is for this Kali Linux 23, 2023.4, which is for ARM processor, ARM64. So that's why if we have this ISO file, then uh, this is, we are good to go in order to install the NS3 software now let's start our linux operating system we'll go to the virtual box in my macbook with empty processor i have installed vmware fusion and also i have installed the kali linux which is for arm processor i will i'll go to my virtual box i will start my kali linux machine power on then we'll wait for a moment then press enter press enter our kali linux will start let get login into the system press enter now we have this uh, terminal so we can open the terminal from here root terminal is not necessary so user terminal is fine then i will open this browser then i will go to the ns3 uh, website in the google we will write ns3 download press enter then i will go to the ns3 home page it is here ns3.34 click here and then from here you will download the ns3 it will take a moment let's wait and complete the uh, downloading process so NS3 is downloaded successfully. Now let's go to the, uh, currently I am in this home directory, then I'll go to downloads and then LS, uh, this is LS minus L. Uh, we have a copy, NS all in one, NS all in one 3.4. This is the downloaded copy of the NS3 software so what i will do then we will use this command to enter i mean uh, this is a bz format this is file uh, this file ns3 installer is in tar format i will enter it try uh, tar minus x vf ns all in one 3.4 tar dot uh, bz2 press enter it will expand it will extract all the files then let me 
check the directories then we have a directory ns all in one 3.40 so we'll go into the directory ns 3.4 press enter ls minus l so here there is a script build.py if we run this build.py then our ns3 will be installed we need to install two packages one is qmake another is cmake to install qmake we'll write down sudo apt get minus y minus y it will consider all questions responses as yes and it will install the software let's press enter then it will uh, install the package but however in my system this package is already package is already installed that's why nothing to be done similarly i will also do the same sudo get uh, apt get install get inst install with minus y switch and then i will give the name of the package as cmake press enter same thing it is also already installed that's why we are good to go we can install now ns3 and for that i told you we have a software uh, we have a file build.py we'll write down this uh, we'll execute this build.py now for that we'll write down i'll tell build dot slash build dot py and also we will enable examples as well as enable tests so then press enter it will take some time ns3.4 is installed now it took nearly 20 minutes to completely install it it is dependent on the speed of the system since it is m3 processor so it is little bit faster with but in other processor it took more than 40 minutes anyways it's uh, now ready to use this software ns 3.4 and uh, we'll see how to use this now let's check whether ns3 is working fine or not we have installed ns3 in download directory of the uh, home folder let me go to the downloads directory actually i am in downloads directory pwd we are i am currently residing in uh, downloads directory let's go uh, change the directory to ns3.34 press enter ls minus l clear the screen then ls minus l then let me go to ns 3.40 this is the home directory of ns3 here there are so many directories available out of that most important directories for us right now is the example directory within the example directory there is another directory which is uh, tutorials 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 press enter there are certain certain ns3 compatible files are available these files we can run all, all files with .cc extension we can run from ns3 now to test the working of ns3 will take the first .cc file first of all i have to copy this file into a directory which is known as scratch directory minus l press enter if i see here there is a directory called scratch directory so here is the scratch directory here all the files that we want to execute to be copied first into the scratch directory so i have a file in the tutorial uh, as i have seen earlier ls minus l in examples tutorials there is a file called first.cc this is by default it comes along with ns3 software or ns3 package then if i press enter this is the file first what i will do i'll copy this file uh, from examples tutorials first.cc to scratch directory and then i'll press enter and now i will see whether this file is copied in the scratch directory or not ls minus l scratch slash first dot cc press enter this file is there now i will run this code in order to run this code press enter there is one executable file ns3 earlier it was waf but in this version it is 
ns3 so i'll write down dot slash ns3 uh, run r u n the name of the file scratch dot f i r s t dot c press enter so first dot sorry it is first dot cc press enter then it will execute now this is the output so there is some output given at time plus two seconds client send the uh, uh, these many bytes 1024 bytes to this server and in port 9 and accordingly those bytes are received this is simply to show that this ns3 is working i'm not uh, going into the detail of the first .cc file and how it works this is not part of this tutorial that's why at this point i uh, point uh, this ns3 is ready and we can execute files or we can execute programs in ns3